What's up guys, this is the second part of my video for Lord of the Rings Battle of Middle Earth 2 and I'm playing on Minas Morgul as you saw in the last video. Basically what I'm going to do now, I'm just going to clear it out, clear out the inside, uh, send all the troops out, send everyone out and then I'm going to show you about Sauron and his abilities and stuff. Um, as, as I said, I, Sauron has arrived, there he is, he's absolutely massive. If you compare some of these Haradrims which are like average sized men it's probably about twice as big. There he is, just walking out. Didn't really have a care in the world. Uh, yep. So all my troops are now leaving, and I'm hopefully gonna show you a bit about like Sauron and his abilities and stuff once all these guys have got out. Um, he's just loaded up, um, and I think I should probably go and use him somewhere. I guess. So I'm gonna I think send him out to like the middle of the map here, just there. And then I can sort of demonstrate his abilities and stuff. Um, I have a lot of trolls here. Um, it's kind of gone to a big mess now because everything's just, everyone's just colliding with each other. But yeah, my attack attack trolls. Because to be honest, the mountain trolls aren't massively powerful, and drummer trolls they're not like very useful because they just die pretty much immediately. So that's not massively good. Um, but I think attack trolls are the best. <coughs> In terms of that, so where's Sauron? Right, I'm gonna go use Sauron, take him out here, and show you his abilities. Uh, I'm also planning to do a playthrough of the campaign of um, Lord of the Rings: Battle of Middle Earth 2, um, especially the Angmar campaign, because that's quite good. And I may do a sort of turn-based, the turn-based campaign where you sort of, if you don't play that before, where you kind of like do some, uh, take a turn, expand your army, whatever. And then um, sort of keep playing. The enemy has a turn. You try and basically conquer as many areas as you can. Uh, right, where's Sauron? Right, come on. Right, let's use Sauron. Let's just see his abilities. No, don't attack. Let Sauron attack. This is Sauron. As you can see, it's very like the film because if you remember in the, it's the first film, where um, Sauron. It's like attack the, when the last alliance of men and elves is attacking on the shore, those shores. No, not the shores. The sort of plains of the area of Mordor, uh, of Mount Doom. Sauron does kind of that sweeping motion with his uh, club. Is it? All right. So here we go. This is what this is. Sauron attacking again. Well, if the catapults would stop auto acquiring, it'd be good. Here he is again. So as you can see, he's pretty powerful. And I'm going to send him up here to attack. My, my other troops are kind of just standing around now, which isn't good. I'll send the Nazgul to attack these archers. Because archers are the one thing that um, really can defeat the... Uh, oh, they've got Nazgul. Because they're just really powerful against them. Like kind of, In some ways, I think this game is like... They kind of make some things like overly powerful against each other. Like um, pikes and horses. I suppose like in real life, pikes and horses are pretty... Pikes were very uh, strong against horses, but it's kind of a bit exaggerated in this game, to be honest. But it doesn't matter that much. Um, well, my three Nazgul are there. I'm going to send them in just to sort of basically hold the en en enemy off for a bit. My forces, well, my army has become a bit sort of disjointed now. I've lost probably quite a lot of it. Oh, that's probably because a lot of it's just stood there doing nothing. Uh, I've got a catapult here, I'll send that in. And I'll send Sauron in to deal with these guys. I'll just send the Nazgul off to here so they don't start like interfering and stuff. That's really annoying when they start doing that. No, no, Sauron, attack here, attack here. I'll send my army out the way so they don't get involved with it. Or, act or actually, it's probably quicker to just let them do it. I'll let these. I'll let the Nazgul because if there's you can get five Nazgul from uh, the. I think it's what's it called? You get a Nazgul from the um, Great Siege Works, and then you get two Nazgul from the Citadel. So it basically takes up to nine. It, it can be a bit confusing, but um, there's nine in total. Well, minus the Witch King, which would make eight. But yeah, uh, you know, this is gonna take too long. I'll just send Sauron in for the attack. I I'll. So yeah, in fact, I'll send the whole army in for the attack, I may as well just have a go. 
there's not really much point in one one unit attacking when the, the whole of the ar others aren't. Uh, needs to use a special ability at this point probably. The worm, the darkness, or or barrage is pretty good actually. The worm's not massively useful, especially in view of the fact that it can get killed. But I'll use bombard or whatever it's called. Should be pretty uh, useful. Um, but apart from that, that's really all this video was about. Was just sort of seeing Sauron and s if I'll zoom in on him, seeing kind of how big he is and stuff. But as you can see, I think in this in the uh, the game they really went to the details of Sauron and things like that really well. But yeah, thanks for watching, guys, and there will be more videos to come. Cheers.